Hello everyone and welcome back to a new Paint With Me session. What do you think of my nail polish today? It's a new color that I uh, put especially for <laughs> today's video. I hope you will like it. Also I got some sweet comments from you guys about uh, the blue nail polish I had on the, the other day. So I got on and bought a new one. <laughs> I really like this color as well. It's really like mint green ish that's how I would describe it at least so let's get ready and do some painting together again so I looked at my uh, statistics that for my channel that YouTube gives me the other day and I thought it might be fun to share it with you all because now I have 300 subscribers and thank you all very much for your support and um, so 29% of all my views is from uh, the United States. So one third of my viewers are from the United States. Hello, welcome. <laughs> and then the second biggest country for uh, my viewers is uh, the UK. So that's where I'm based. Also great, hello. <laughs> and then the third one is from the Philippines. Uh, fourth the Australia and fifth Indonesia so thank you all very much for watching and it's great to see how um, world <coughs> sorry how worldwide <laughs> my audience is and it's not just from uh, the United Kingdom or the States and actually the Philippines and the uh, United Kingdom is like only 0.2% difference, so almost shared second spot, I would say. So I thought that was a really cool statistic to see, um, I would say at least. <laughs> I hope you you like it as well. And thank you all for watching from wherever you are in the world. I hope you're having a great day. You're probably in different time zones, so I'm not going to say anything there. Um, but yes. Thank you for your support and I hope you're do enjoying your paint by numbers now as well, just as I am. It's going really well and we're getting there guys, we're getting there, finishing this up and uh, this paint by numbers of called Amsterdam and we're still working on this second bike. I owe you guys also an apology because I didn't release a new video on Tuesday, uh, last Tuesday, with diamond painting. And I'm sorry if you were waiting for that video. I did put a, a notification or a message in the chat of my channel. I hope you have seen it, um, if you were waiting for it. And I'm really sorry that <laughs> I missed it. I uh, it was so annoying. You know, with the with the YouTube channel, I get so many more videos and stuff than I used to, and it's taking it's taking up a lot of space. So uh, my computer basically crashed. I had to sort it all out and organize it, and that's why I couldn't make it on time uh, for Tuesday. Um, so it should be all sorted now. It, it does look like I have freed up a lot of space and I, I put it on like a, another hard drive instead. Um, I know these are all YouTube struggles, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not too much to do with the painting but um, yeah I hope you understand and we'll be again there on Tuesday with diamond painting. I know it's going to take me a very long time to finish that diamond painting, but I'm determined to finish it, so don't worry and please tune in again um, coming Tuesday to see uh, me continue with the diamond painting. If you have been following me throughout the summer, you probably know that I've talked about growing tomatoes and they've done done pretty well. I got a lot of tomatoes from them but they're now um, slowly dying because of the cold. It's getting to them and also some damage on the tomatoes. 
Um, I still have a lot of green ones on there, but I don't think they're going to ripen anymore. So I just collected them and let them ripen inside. So hopefully I can still eat them. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's the, the final produce and all those things. It's definitely taking a toll now with the colder weather. It's not freezing temperatures yet. Um, I did look it up at night. It's only like 8 degrees or so. But apparently that's too cold for my tomatoes. <laughs> so, because I, yeah, like I said, there was damage on them. And the plants are like getting all yellow and, no, brownish. Um, so that was it. And that feels like summer is over, right? I'm keeping my reference sheet at hand, you guys. I really need it for this section with the wheel. Doing this larger section, I can really feel the difference that the gesso makes. So, um, I've gessoed this section, which I've done in a previous video. I will put up a link here. And so I basically did this corner with the bike. I gessoed it. And I do think I feel a difference, like, especially in these larger section, sections, it's easier, <laughs> you you find, you feel it better, and that the way you feel it is that the flow goes better and you need less paint, so it's quicker <laughs> in one way, and it also, yeah, I, I like it, I'm a fan, I have to say. Um, I will finish this painting, of course, and then we can see if it really makes a difference um, with the gesso or without, because I only gessoed this section in the top uh, and bottom <laughs> right corner where I'm painting right now, because when I bought it, I already gessoed the uh, no, I already painted the rest of the painting. I I didn't use gesso. But I will explain all about it in this video that I have made and I will make a part two to see how uh, um, I'm finding it with a new painting as well. And the use of different uh, canvases and so on. So keep an eye out for those videos. I will promise to make them soon. Um, but I have to do some more painting first. All right, thank you for watching me from everywhere in the world. It's really amazing for me to realize. And for watching until the end with this Paint With Me, Paint By Numbers session, I hope you enjoyed it and will enjoy painting with your Paint By Numbers and finish that painting, don't give up. It will be okay. really, really nice once you finish it. Um, often we're a bit close to it when we're painting it and if you step back then you will see it is really pretty. So don't give up and keep painting and finishing or making it look a bit better. And see you again on Sunday. Bye!